Greetings from Jungsan, Guangdong, China. I'm Pat Smith. I'm the president of Jade Molds. We're doing our continuing video series talking about how the injection molding process when you're testing your injection mold relates to diagnosing problems which relates to fixing problems at your offshore mold maker and not getting a mold shipped to you that has a bunch of problems that were never diagnosed in China. Uh, we've got the standard mold process here outlined. This video today is on open, eject, and close. Uh, in this series we're actually skipping pack and hold. We're going to deal with that in a different series of videos on scientific molding. Uh, but back to open, eject, and close. I've always said the number one problem with the Chinese process is that they just do everything too slow. Um, and that actually applies here. Why do they want to uh, open the mold slowly? Let's say you've got a part that has some A-side detail on it or a screw that wants to tend to stick to the A-side. No better way to make them stick to the B-side than just crack the mold a little bit and open nice and slow. Magically the parts stick to the B-side. You get that mold in your factory and you do a standard process. You want to open quickly to save time. Bang, you got your sprue and your part on your A-side. They never fixed the problem. They didn't polish those deep ribs. They didn't increase the undercut on the, on the sprue ejector. All those types of things. Um, why do they eject slow? Again, no better way to hide ejector pin drive or stress marks in a part than to eject slowly. You take the part out nice and slow, you're not going to see those problems as prevalent. You get the mold in America, you've had beautiful test parts from China, and all of a sudden you've got all this stress whitening in your parts or ejector pin drive. The close phase. If you've got a mold with some cam pins and some slides, let's say there's a little bit of misalignment. If you're opening and closing slowly, you're not going to see any problems. The mold is going to function just fine. But then, in your factory, you start opening and closing quickly. You might see broken cam pins. You might see galling on the slides. All these problems that were not properly diagnosed at your offshore tool maker. And you get stuck with all those headaches in your own factory. So how does Jade do it differently? In this case, it's really all about our, our program managers. Uh, we've got myself. Rob Younger, Kelly Culp, Manpreet Singh. Over 100 years of experience and we've all been trained in the standard process. In fact, we really don't like this process at all. We make sure when we're watching a mold, a mold trial, a mold test, that we're doing it right. Um, the other thing that happens is in the DFM phase when we're designing the mold, you're working with Mike Webb or Craig Nelson. They're going to ask you a question about cycle time. What cycle time do you want to hit? If I know your cycle time, I'm going to try and hit it. If it's a faster cycle time than China would normally run, they don't have as much leeway to play with these variables here. And so you can kind of control them that way. And that's a really good thing you should do is always give your uh, offshore tool maker a desired cycle time and then find some way to actually verify it's happening like via video or something like that. Um, they might resist you a little bit. You might see some problems because they're not used to it that way. But it's a great way to make sure they're the open, eject, and close phases are being controlled properly. If you'd like to hear more about the Jade Way, see how we do things, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you and we'd love to help you solve your problems. Thanks for your time.